Let's talk about option D, which is the correct option. Huh? Um, this diagram here shows the diode, the PN junction in forward bias because the P side is connected to the positive terminal and the N side is connected to the negative terminal. And it correctly shows that a PN junction in forward bias has a conventional current flowing this way. This diagram here shows a PN junction in reverse bias because the P side is connected to the negative terminal, the N side is connected to the positive terminal. And the absence of the holes and the absence of electrons here uh, convey that there's this depletion region. So take note, huh? the positive and negative signs in this question are meant to represent the holes and the electrons. They are not representing the bound ions, which is what is shown in many textbooks. So what's wrong with the other options? Um, this one shows correctly that this guy is in forward bias, but he has got the direction of the current wrong. Huh? When in forward bias, the current should be flowing this way. So from the top to the bottom, not from the bottom to the top. So that's the only thing wrong with this option. Option B is wrong because if you are connected this way, you are actually putting the PN junction into rev uh, reverse bias. Under reverse bias, there shouldn't be any currents flowing. And this is wrong also because this connection is actually putting the PN junction in forward bias. When you are in forward bias, you shouldn't have such a widened uh, depletion region and you should be having current flowing. Option C is also wrong because of the wrong bias. Alright? Okay, that's all I have to say. Ta-ta!